In other news, a day of rage has become another day of killings in Jerusalem and the West Bank. At least three Israelis were killed in separate attacks on Tuesday. And the violence is also hitting the Palestinians, with neither side showing any signs of backing down. CCTV's Stephanie Freed has more from East Jerusalem. A day of rage was called for within the Palestinian sector on Tuesday, and a day of rage it was. Five separate attacks that left three Israelis dead and dozens of others wounded. As a result, Israel's security cabinet met in an emergency session for a second time within days to decide how to staunch this flow of ongoing violence between the sides. Within the Palestinian sector, the day of rage did continue. It went on with protests throughout the West Bank and along Israel's border with Gaza, with protesters, hundreds of them, breaking through the security fence between Israel and Gaza. I am in East Jerusalem. You can hear the helicopter overhead patrolling this area. All five Palestinian attackers are from East Jerusalem. Palestinian leaders are pointing an accusatory finger at Israel's leaders, saying they're responsible for the ongoing cycle of violence. We hold the Israeli government entirely responsible for the war crimes against our people and for the wave of violence, chaos, extremism and bloodshed. Despite accusations and repeated implementation of new measures and attempts to curb the cycle of violence, this cycle continues. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, East Jerusalem.